the one I need to send a link to. Oh, Excellent. Ren. Ren. I need to send a link to Ren. Five, two, no. four, three, two. Oh, where should I do that? Oh. Round two. Round two. Take two. Oh my god, I can't hear anything. Today is a momentous occasion. Today on the two and a half hour shows, we have increased the number, the firepower, the guns, the testosterone, what little of it is left, um, <laughs> to five and a half Oyajis. <laughs> or maybe it's more like just four, four Oyajis. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Four or out. No, I have, I'm fine. going to open up this bottle. Yeah, of he's the one who's extremely good-looking bold man. Grand old par. There you go for you guys tonight. In in mm, celebration, wow. this is a brand new bottle. So oh. of course I don't have a knife. Oh, I got to use my fingernails again. Mm. Or, um, uh, uh, I'm, on, I'm on grapefruit juice. <laughs> really? <laughs> too early in the afternoon. You know this is early, not too early in the uh, afternoon. Apartment here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that. Pico never drinks on these things. Just me. I know. Yes, I know this. this is like salt vodka. Is that? Oh, okay. Really? <laughs> okay. Tonight we have Brian. Brian, the dog, alcoholic dog, will be joining us. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Hi, Brian. Hello. Welcome, gentlemen. I salute Come you. My new bottle of old par. Mm. Oh. Are my bananas in view? That's the, that's the question. Okay. Let us start <laughs> from the man <laughs> with the funniest hat. Banana to be as Dean. far from view as possible. Dean, if you don't mind, could you give us an introduction for the Moron Army and the Hikoites? Hikoites. <laughs> Hikoites. <laughs> I like the sound of that. I was going to call them sodomizers, but... <laughs> Simonizers, but... No, sorry. <laughs> Simonizers. <laughs> Dean, oh, we're not, this isn't a live stream. Tell us where you're no. from, uh, your T-shirt size, what, what, what do we need to know here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kefan Jedi is with us. we got Ken Dog, we'll make awesome, Ryan Platts, and all sorts of awesome people. Oh, oh Stephanie. Uh, you're Steph. She can't come for the Hanami. Too bad, but everyone should come for the Hanami. That sucks. Including all you guys, even the ones in Belgium and Canada. Yes. Mm. Well, I'm, going to sit under, I'm going to sit under a tree in Belgium and join you that way. Okay, so you're in Belgium. Dean, why don't you why don't you speak? Does he speak, or is he just? Uh, is he yeah, he I I, uh, I I I just stand here and or sit here and look handsome. Look, look handsome. <laughs> yeah, I know how that works. <laughs> hey, his his milkshakes are better than yours. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm feeling a bit. Uh, Transethnic, actually. I'm feeling very transethnic today. You know, if that girl is really 16 years old, we're really bashing her. I'm so glad I made it through puberty before Al Gore invented the internet. You know. Yes. <laughs> Dean, where are you? Are you in Australia? Yeah. What part of Australia is that? Well, where? Um, in uh, South Australia, Adelaide. Oh, really? Oh, I have a good friend there. Yeah. Oh, damn it. You know what? You could do me a favor. Her, she's getting married soon. You could crash the wedding for me. <laughs> Probably. Is that a woman? She's my ex-girlfriend. So. No, I want you married. to bring her. her. She doesn't know we had a child together. We just surprise her at the wedding. Oh. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> You're in Adelaide, really? Huh. That's interesting. That does. I, I got to find out when that wedding is. Maybe you can crash it if it's nearby and, you, and you're doing nothing. I'll find you directions. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and then with a cowboy hat, Robert. Hi. 1967. So, yeah. So I'm here in Toronto, Canada, Ontario. Pony Central. <laughs> Indeed. What's there? Pony Central. Pony. Party Central. They've got like party the, the most hardcore partying mayor like of all of North America. I Are thought you, you were aware of this, Robert? Pony <laughs> yes, that, that's why I look so rough now. Yeah. I had my party in here. <laughs> all right. Mm. How is Toronto this time? Is it still freezing there? It is. Yeah, I was and out this morning. It's summertime, right? It's just really hot for Dean. Correct? Dean. Yes. It's really hot. That <laughs> but, <clears throat> no, because oh, yeah, he's wearing a little hat, hat, and it must be really hot for him to be wearing that in the summertime. Oh, well, it is rather, but you know, sacrifice. Thank you. Well, sacrifice for the for the oh, yeah, yes. Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, we noticed you're you're not wearing hats. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a gakuran. Yeah. 
This is yeah, my it, I got half the name of the place. I can, I can. Oddly enough, that cost the same as my hat. I actually oh. thought it was going to be one of those, um, you know, when people tell you to turn up in fancy dress and it's not there really a fancy dress party. There you go. My oh, jester's hat. This is a <laughs> classic hat, the jester's hat. Okay, hides the hat, hides the headphones well, so that's pretty good. Not quite, but okay. And all the way in Belgium, huh? Yeah. The father yeah. of the of the French fry, your country. Indeed, yeah. Uh, I don't know why they call French fries, but yes, they're they're from Belgium. That's the original uh, source of French fries. You have a British accent, though. Why is that? That is because I am English, it's thor oh. thoroughly English. Not 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 slightly transethnic. Just <clears throat> just. Hardcore English. Well, I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> on the show if you're not transethnic in some way. Oh, well, I mean, if you go back far enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you go back to no. Yorkshire and Cornwall. <laughs> Lancashire, would you? Lancashire. Lancashire. Nothing wrong with Lancashire. Uh. Yeah, so I, I'm actually, I was actually born in the town that, um, that Jake lives in. Jake says hi, Jake by Adelstein? the way. Victor. No, uh, Jake, Jake Norton. Norton. Yeah, oh, Jake Norton. Oh, good guy. I'm still working on his video. We're doing a video collab, of course. Ah, cool. Well, there right. you go, Jake. Question answered. He's, he's got 10% battery left on his on it on his phone, so he's not able to watch. So. And he's and he's sort of going oh, going really? home from work. That's <laughs> I can't is, uh, in fact, I want to take this opportunity to make a public service announcement that you should never try to take on any sort of voyage with less than 10% battery capacity on your phone. <laughs> It won't no. work. Can't, you may no, never be able to use your phone again. <laughs> How much can you get your phone to? Who were? All right, there we go. Cool, cool. Okay, and of course we have our <clears throat> panda man. Who? Nico Simon. Uh, who's that? Nico who's Simon. that? <laughs> Nico Simon. One of the co one of the one of the uh, co sponsors of the April fifth. A Hanami party, Tokyo Hanami party, which it looks like it's going to be a, a monster bash this year. Yes, we will actually be bashing monsters. We're having them yes. brought. Again. It bets out to everybody. How many guys just smash the crap out of them? <laughs> uh, and if you're not wearing a proper T-shirt, you may be mistaken as a as a monster, as a monster. Or, or a funny hat. <laughs> Mm. But um, no, it should be awesome. It looks like there's a, there's a good there's a good buzz around. Seventy five people <laughs> have RSVP. Well, last that's count. A pretty good thing. <laughs> the thing is huge. That's amazing. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Caffeine yeah. Jedi but Simon is English exclamation mark exclamation mark. You know that. What does that mean? <laughs> Ryan Platts is bringing into the uh, the Yorkshire Lancashire rivalry, which I was, I'm, I'm I'm cool with the Lancashire people. They they live next door to Yorkshire. How bad can they be? So they um <laughs> hold hold on. Could you explain this petty beef that nobody cares about for us? Why why do you hate each other? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, we moved away like a hundred years ago. <laughs> That's uh, Wars of the Roses, isn't it? Sort of Tudor period. Ah, okay, Lanc so Lancastrians oh. the, the versus. Of course. Uh, heads. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That is actually interesting. <laughs> yeah. They beat they beat the crap out of each other. Uh, one you know, for one one king and the or the other. Yeah. W what are you doing in Belgium now? I mean, are the French fries that good? Um. The, the well, I, I, I it was a, well, no. I I I met a Belgian woman, and uh, and she gave me an ultimatum, which was either sort of uh, she was going back to Belgium, and she said, "You either stay here or come with me." So I came with her. So are you in, uh, well, are you in Wallonia? And you've been you coming in... with her ever since. Uh, well, I, I I have reproduced and uh, and have uh, <laughs> multiplied <laughs> and uh, and I'm now, I'm now I'm now separated, but still I have the offspring to prove it. Oh. Um, uh, so uh, no, no, in Flanders, Flanders, he goes. You're Flanders. In Flanders. So it's, I've yeah. never gotten that because it's like so you're in Flanders. That's like being in Netherlands, like without the uh, cafes. Without, 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 without coughing and spitting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to any Dutch viewers, but I mean, Flemish is just much softer on the throat. Uh, I think that yes, was we... French. That's the way I, I make fun of the French. Like, <laughs> yeah. French. No, well, that was originally oh, no, how yeah. Belgium was formed. <laughs> it was spat out of France. Ooh, ooh. No, Tomoko um, was in the comment section. I'm surprised. Hey, Tomoko, you made Tomoko. it. 
Oh, I also see that Edo is, I just saw Edo's message right before this starts. Edo would like to join, but I think we've got a few, uh, enough age in this week's. Uh, uh, I, uh, did yeah. you get a chance to talk to him? I did. I, I, I messaged him. And I said, look, I'd like to get him on. He'd be a good Let's get him on again. Let's get him on again. Tonight, yeah. not tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. tonight. We've got plenty. Well, as he's here. It's, and, it's a sausage fest. Unless you bring a vagina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a sausage fest. Edo. Bring uh, a vagina and you're in. That's your ticket. Can you join? Tomoko, yeah. can you join? That's a, that, speaking yeah, that's speaking of. That's actually speaking that's, of. My, that's my life philosophy you just you just enunciated right there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone I'm with not, a vagina. Really <laughs> Hello, Tomoko, Tomoko, if she's watching. I, I just had actually taught her tonight a few minutes ago. So. Oh. With a few other students. We had a really funny class. Uh, cool. Talking about the Malaysian airline going down, but... That's a really fun class. Yes, it was. Well, that wasn't <laughs> the funny part, of course, but um, the uplifting. <laughs> no, but um, let um, I, I, I actually, I, I hate to bother you. I hate to push this, but Dean, who are you? Hey, <laughs> <I hate laughs> <to> Dean. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have, I've only seen a couple of your episodes, so I, I don't. Besides the fact that you're willing to wear a stupid hat on camera, which I completely respect, I really do. But give us a little more information. <laughs> Hey, man, this, he's only seen a couple of the episodes. He's counting the one of the two that he was in. Yes. <laughs> one, well, I'm counting one of them. The other ones I uh, thought part of would add up to one. Dean, Dean is the is the uber, uber father of the three old dudes. He's 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 a grandfather. For I sake. am a grandfather of ten children. You're kidding, uh, really? No, yes, yes. The sperm, the sperm is strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, literally, uh, literally. Yeah, the father, <laughs> the past runs strongly through our family, kind of like fat legs, actually. But, um, mm. Didn't you live yeah, in Osaka before? Um, what was that? Didn't you live in Japan before? No. I was confusing him with Robert. Same no, no, both, I got, both got Robert. beards. There's a guy named Dean who worked. No, I'm sorry. I, yeah, no, I, 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 I want to come stuff. to Japan. So you I, haven't been I, here yet? Yeah. No, not not yet. Uh, I, I originally, uh, what what started me was um, uh, making YouTube videos and all that sort of stuff. Was uh, I was going to uh, uh, um, get my bachelor's and uh, come over and and try and get a job teaching, but uh, things change and it happened, I suppose. So <laughs> was it? Yeah, it's a, was it's a it slight change. So when I when I do come over. Be as a tourist. Was it? A, was it a Belgian <laughs> woman with you as well? Or? No. Was it a Belgian woman? <laughs> <laughs> so how did you three meet? Was it like speed dating? Uh, well, she's, 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 yeah. well, she's, she's not here yet. She's going to join. Ah, she, yes. but, uh, she's going to sort of be in comments. Come on, call Raina. Yeah. Wake yeah. up, Raina. Oh, you met through Come yes. Raina. In all comments, right. basically, in, yeah. In the comments, right? You were all competing for her affection, or, right. her, rejection, or her rejection, I should say. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a, wearing a present she sent to me. So I mean, I have a certain you amount you of a present. Oh my yeah. god! Oh, I'm I sent her a necklace, and she sent me a necklace. So. Okay, I'm gonna have to mute your microphone from now on. Well, we all know who the favorite is. I didn't get a present. <laughs> Comical Rain has got balls to be able to send only one of you. That's, that's well, actually, I, I got presents too. No, yeah, Robert got presents. Just Dean's, Dean's still waiting. <laughs> is it herpes or oh, that's good. It's a mini me. Made a little mini me. No. Well, that is really cute. That is actually pretty. She made that for you. Yeah. <clears throat> I actually made this. Hiko, did I'm you get always, a present from Comical Rain? I haven't. Well, got actually, I haven't. Uh, I'm always pretty careful when when a woman says and comes that she has a mini me. So <laughs> anyone who's into a mini me, you want to be careful. <laughs> well, you, you, just, right. you just bring the batteries; you'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Robert. What's uh, what's your deal? What's my deal? Um, well, I discovered um, Find Me and Cur Me on YouTube. He was the first YouTuber I found that I enjoyed watching. And through him, oh, no, no, I found he's all the. the he's the first YouTuber that I enjoyed watching. It means that a lot of other people I saw before him that I hated. That's what you're saying. <laughs> well, I. You know, there a little too much. Let me rephrase that. It was more of the same. If I want to watch the news, I don't watch the news. I don't read the paper. 
Mm -hmm. And watching local people is like watching the news and reading the paper. I don't mm -hmm. want to discuss politics and all this just negative garbage. So mm -hmm. I found him by accident. I was searching for a picture of Tokyo skyline for my desktop, and I was drunk, and <laughs> I wound up on his YouTube channel. So you typed Tokyo skyline drunk, and it came up. Find me in Kurobe. Find me in Kurobe. Find me in Kurobe. <laughs> Something like that. I think you got to tweak your computer a little bit. Something was a bit off. Man needs a new keyboard. It was a good result. But I was I was married to a half Japanese woman oh. for seven years. You mean trans, uh, trans, trans ethnic? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she was more Chinese than Japanese. Okay. And I lived I lived with a Japanese woman for for a year in 2000, and that was the first time I went to Japan when she went back. Hmm. Ah. So you so you've been here. What what part? In Tokyo or? Um, I was staying in Chichibu, uh, two and a half hours north of Tokyo. But I've been mm -hmm. to Tokyo quite a bit, and mm -hmm. Kyoto and Hakata. And that's it. Mm. Nice hat. Hey, <laughs> five dollars. I'm sorry. Is that the sound of someone flushing a toilet? <laughs> it is. That's it? it? Dean's kitchen. You're not not familiar with Dean's no, kitchen. No, so Dean's kitchen and toilet are in the same room. room. In his kitchen. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna have health and safety visiting your house pretty soon. I'm the one's gonna report. But the, the creepy thing is, there's no one here. Uh. I, have, I have one more question for Robert. When's your birthday? September 14th, 1967. I got you by oh. three days. <laughs> September 11th. I'm That's your only son. I'm your older mm -hmm. brother, buddy. So, okay. so, so Victor, Victor, what star sign does that make you both? Uh, Virgo. Virgo. Uh, is that a star sign? I guess. We're also <laughs> sheep. I think. Uh, are we sheep? In the the Chinese uh, animal sheep, I think. Yeah. I'm a horse. <coughs> I'm, a sheep. I'm a sheep, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sure which is not, which is not, you know, I'm an alpha wolf, of course, but anyway. Uh, I'm in, an alpha in sheep's clothing. Yeah. I'm an alpha sheep. I'm, I'm an alpha sheep. sheep's clothing. <laughs> and what do you do? What do you, what do you guys do? Well, before we go to Simon, let's go back to Dean. If do you, would you like to divulge your, uh, the way you make money, or, or would you, is that nobody's business? Just kind of get, a, I just kind of want to get a rounder. Besides creating sperm for many generations. Um, what's happening in your house? What's happening? <laughs> my, my son has just come home. Well, how I met my, yes. Come on, camera, say hello. The, uh, come and say hello to everyone. He's sick as a dog. This is oh, my really? youngest son. Uh, this is Lachlan. Hello, Lachlan. How's hey. it going? Hello. Lachlan. Hello. Uh, You've all got hats on. What is this? Yeah. It's a three old dudes. No, I mean, it's a two and a half yard. <laughs> it's a secret society for old men. I'm sorry. These, these are your dad's internet friends. Yes. These are your dad's weak, weak transsexual friends. We all used to be women. Can't hear anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that. Uh, <laughs> delete the, delete the, oh, video, delete the video. Have fun with your hands. We're founding a new religion, actually. Um, yes. That's all. Have fun with your colossal faggot friends. That's what he was saying. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you after. Um, I say I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to offend my gay viewers because I have a lot of gay viewers. Cause, you know, you you can you know why you can you yeah. can you can see the evidence here. Yeah. But um, but someone wrote a very funny comment the other day, and I just was repeating it. He sounds like a colossal faggot was the comment. But I know it's really rude, but I just thought it was so funny. I've been sticking in my head ever since then. Um, you're, you're, you've been obsessed with... Is anybody watching comments? Was people asking yeah. for shout-outs? Shout-out from Texas. Hello, Texas. Hello, Bracknell. Yeehaw. Texas, we will never screw with you because you will kill us. We know that. Okay. I told you oh, it's right. I love AKB48 is here. He hasn't been here for ages. Hello, I love AKB48. That Everybody must be Jake Knowlton. Oh, you. no, that's not him. <laughs> right. Uh, Rados Vlaf uh, Hlos, By the way, sorry, I got a new flash. Um, important update. Uh, Catherine Jenna reports that she might have a vagina. She might have what? Ah, jolly good. A vagina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last time she looked. <laughs> Just a minute. This is this is a most ominous occasion. We must salute this. This is for Catherine Jenna's vagina. <laughs> and this is for a cafe. No, <laughs> <laughs> so 
sorry, that was just there. I mean, literally. So I had to use it. Not appropriate. Right. Okay. Let's just very perfect. inappropriate. No, I, the, she's a great girl. She's a girl. I really like her. And, and uh, but I got to tell her that when I stayed at her house, her her husband crawled into bed with me. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was. Hey, it's cool. It's cool. He's German. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. <laughs> no, actually, he just wanted a he wanted an English lesson. So. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Um, so uh, who also who else is here? Ryan Platts. We don't actually. We always have a rivalry. Oh, that's about the rivalry that's between the, the Lancashire Yorkshire. It's it's a it's a big thing. Okay. Alex Stratus is here. Great photographer and a YouTuber. Emily Lou Maitland. Uh, Emily uh, Lou. I'm going to get to your videos. I, you sent me a link. I've got a link open. I'm going to check out your videos. Wasabi Cars. All the way. I think he's from Fukushima. Kyushu. Uh, Daniel. Yeah. Is Daniel. he from Kyushu? Is he Fukushima? No, no, not Fukushima. Uh, Kyushu, I think. Fukuoka? I don't remember. Where is he from? Any, anyone know? Wasabi cars? I think he knows. Is. He knows his cars, though. Yes. Yusuf, big shout out to Morocco, my man Yusuf. Ah. South Africa. He was in Morocco. Cool. Yeah. We we got we got people all over. We got the uh, Aya the Raptor from France. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we were, we were dissing dissing France before. Rap Raptors are quite nice for them. Well, that's okay. We, we switched were not, to we the were dissing France. Pretty we, quick were, uh, we were dissing the accent that they, they spit on everything when they speak. <laughs> that was actually the Dutch, but, but yeah, the, that's, a, that's a big, it's a sensitive well, area. They both, they both do that. But, okay. Oh, I, I love AKB48 says, FYI, this is not Jake Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, call, oh, I'm sorry, I have to, call, callification says, I want a gong for having a vagina. So although I do not know you, I will take. Well, should we take a word that she has a vagina? If you're not careful, it could happen. I mean, always. Yeah. <laughs> this is for a qualification for having a vagina. Congratulations. I'm not sure if this is going to attract female viewers or drive them away screaming. <laughs> gong me, I have a vagina. Give me a gong for vagina. Gong for vagina. This sounds like a T-shirt. Okay. Uh, Fukuoka. He's in Fukuoka. Who's in Fukuoka? A lot of people cook, right? Is that is that Michaela Turf? <laughs> Find me in Kurume? Huh. Right? Yeah. Hiko? Yes. I'm sorry, were you asking me? <laughs> he's yes. in Fukuoka. He's in, he's, well, he's in Kurume. Kurume is, a, is in Fukuoka. Near, near Fukuoka, right? Bobby Judo area, right? Okay. Yeah, he's in Saga. Saga is totally different to Fukuoka. It's like Lancashire and Yorkshire. Ah. <laughs> you mean for Americans? That means yeah. oh, you mean they're in China? Okay. <laughs> you, got, you guys all speak Chinese, right? What's, what's no difference, right? <clears throat> oh, Chilling in yeah. Sankai is here. Chilling Kansai is making some video responses hey, to our video the other day. Hello. Hey, Scott. So, so uh, listen, we, we, we I, I'm impressed. We've gone through half an hour without yet studying on any substance. Um, yes. Take over. Take over. <laughs> so everyone, has, everyone, I think, is uh, by now seen the um, the angsty um, transethnic blog. I, it's been it's been doing the rounds on pretty much everything that I've been watching. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually, well, I, I I was so exhausted after the first half, I did actually go and take a break. I did have to lie down, and <laughs> when I came back to it. And I was kind of live tweeting my reactions to reading it. It was then, then you discover in the second half when uh, she's sixteen. Her, yeah, her age. Yeah. And, and, and that she starts getting into topics like suicide and hating her skin color and and, and feeling uh, an affinity to without being a lesbian. Um, mm. And, and it, it is actually it's it, it's a really um, <laughs> it's a wonderful piece of writing in its own strange way. I mean, uh, I read it just before going to sleep, and it completely it it, it you had dreams. me. I had dreams, but uh, in your dreams, you were what? What were you? A Nicaraguan one-legged Jew? Well, I'm you know I mean I am as a trans yeah. ethnic myself, I can relate on many levels. Um, you know the the desire to renounce my New Zealand citizenship and just become fully Australian. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> You know, you have this thing. I mean, um, if you, you know, you you have Japanese and you watch and you love anime and you have a Japanese soul, and going to Japan is going to solve all my problems. And I must uh, admit, yeah. I've, I've read blogs like that before, and, and and actually almost one. I mean, if this was a troll, which was possible, but it was so good as a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Has, Has everyone read it? Has everyone read it? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I skimmed. I skimmed through it briefly. Yes. It's um, not. It's not like reading. <laughs> 
I, 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 I like the comments. There was a nice comment. So, uh, what, what, can, can you quote the comment, uh, Dean? <laughs> uh, there's something along the lines of, this is batshit crazy. Uh, something <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, it, no, was, it was along those lines anyway. I don't think she's crazy. I just think she's 16. She's oh. That's all. Mm. She's 16, yeah. and this is... Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, new, new to life, basically. Yeah. yeah, I mean, she's just figuring it out. But, but the thing about being 16 is that you, when you're 16, you're just so sure that your feelings are fact, mm. and oh, you yeah. learn later that they aren't. Uh, so I feel bad for her if it's really not a troll. But, but, I, but I don't agree. With I feel bad. I feel well, bad she, even if she's a troll. <laughs> even if she's a troll. No, if she's a troll. If she's a troll, I completely respect her, and you're, the, you're really good. You did a really good job. <laughs> you trolled a lot of people <laughs> successfully. Good, good job. Um, yeah, I mean, has everyone has everyone here read it? Has anyone ever, does that? Has anyone have any similar feelings to this woman at all? I mean, can you understand that? Well, I just hope she's not too disappointed when she actually does get shit pan. Oh no, it's going to totally meet all of her expectations. <laughs> all the anime yeah. characters in the street and everyone eating pocky sticks and eating ramen. No, no McDonald's here. <laughs> They're everywhere. I mean, this place is almost like America. It's, it's not that different. I mean, from what I understand, she's already actually memorized two of the three alphabets. So I think she's pretty good to go. Mm. Um, yeah, that part bugged me too. I, uh... <laughs> uh, there's somebody from Belgium watching, actually. I've just noticed there's somebody from Belgium watching. Hello to Semichi from Leuven. <laughs> Sorry. Interrupting there, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the lady, the lady qualification is an, is an, is a lady teacher from Italy. Oh, so. oh, good for her. <laughs> so Victor, Victor, uh, uh, so uh, well, there are some interesting. I mean, there's some interesting launch platforms for discussion about uh, being uh, trans-ethnic. I mean, mm -hmm. well, what is your thoughts on uh, ethnicity and culture and DNA? Can you have the soul? Of your ethnicity, independently, you're like, always going to be like a. a Peruvian, I get the opposite. Italian. Like, like I don't feel Peruvian at all. I mean, in, in fact, okay, I'll tell you what happened today. True story. We got a we got a call yesterday. As opposed some, to all your other stories, yes. Some, true story. Peruvian, a Peruvian. No, it just happens to be too too coincidental to be true. But a Peruvian yeah. called the school, my school yeah. yesterday. I have an English school, and they wanted to come for a um, for a kengaku, which is an observation class. And I give them, you know, you get a, th a free 30-minute class, and I'll give you, a, you know, a free class, and you can see if you want to join. And she was supposed to come at 11 a.m. yesterday. I came to school at 11 a.m., although I had no classes until 1.30. Okay, I'll come early, give her a class. Didn't show up. Didn't show up. Called her. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was tomorrow. Sorry. So, okay, how about 1.30 tomorrow? Okay, 1.30 is good. So... I, I have a class at 11.30 today, no problem. I come to school, do my class. I'm waiting around. I'm thinking maybe I'll go to lunch or maybe I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Ends up coming at 3.30. Okay? <laughs> this, is, this is a typical Peruvian mentality that my whole family completely admits. We all make fun of this. Like, yep, it's Peruvian time. That's the way Peruvians do things. And it's embarrassing. And I, I don't feel any connection to that at all. Although I, mean, I am, I'm quite quite often five minutes late <laughs> on these two and a half hour hours, but never never three hours. I mean, how do you go to a place two and a half hours late? Like like yeah. honestly, I, 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 probably if we were like walking around together and we went past one of those kind of pen flute bands, I, I would totally push you <laughs> in and try to get you to join. <laughs> just, I'll bet if you tried, you could just do it. You would just fit straight in. Oh, it must be it must be like in my genes, right? <laughs> No, but the thing is, it's it's really I, I hate I hate to be a self-loathing Peruvian, but I'm I don't self hating I, it's, Peruvian. It's not that I don't I hate You're like the Larry it's, David of Peruvians. It's that I admit what we are. We're there just is a we're with lazy. We're goes. not punctual. We're creative and fun, but when it comes to you know, you don't want Music. me as business partner if I'm a real Peruvian. So. <laughs> um, no, well, really. I mean, I so I, I have the opposite problem of her. I'm <laughs> like. I, I, um, I let you anywhere near my llama. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, although I don't look American, I am I am American, and but wait when I wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, stop, stop right there, sir, stop right there. What does yeah. an American uh, you look like? You look like, like yeah. let me <laughs> because when I'm in America, I always get asked the question, "Where are you really from?" 
Mm. So although America is this big haven of non-racists, uh, as we like to think we're not we're not racist, but we are. I mean, I mean, and the truth is that even black blacks have admitted that when they see another black walking down the street, they get wary. I'm sorry. Are there are there blacks that are not black blacks? Huh? There are. See, so with a with a black black, like as if like a double black. Is there, is, is, is too much like color quasi, in this. Quasi or something? Well, yes, there is. No, did I say black blacks? Yeah, you said it twice. You were like being emphatic. No, I paused. It was common. When, I, the, when the, there are some blacks, yeah. blacks who are walking down the street, the same blacks in the person. Uh, I, I heard who, there black blacks walking who down see the street, another black, and, black and, they will, and they're scared of that black person. They'll cross. They become wary. They become tense, and they've admitted this in in, yeah. uh, in question. You know, it's, it's the same thing happened uh, when I see another uh, Mexican. You know, <laughs> when you see another Mexican, that's yeah. No, no. Actually, I don't have any fear of my own race, but uh, but I mean that kind of racism you, exists. So or, I, is it racism, or is it just is it in is it just what result of experience? You, you know, consider yourself of Hispanic? No, not no. really. No. I don't feel Hispanic. Never mind. No, well, there you go. Hello, Rena. Sorry, Rena made it. That's right. Good to see you. What, yeah. Speaking of ethnicity, Dean, you're you're from Australia. Is there an, any I don't know Aborigine in you or? Or is that yes. New Zealand? Sorry, no, I'm sorry, Maori. No, no, Maori is New Zealand, right? I get it right. Yeah, no, there is. Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah. Uh, but there's also Italian and uh, uh, English, Irish, Scottish. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit so. <laughs> so uh, in your very, no, very, uh, this is sensitive, but Dean, when someone in your family fucks up, do you guys blame the one part of your nationality on that, or do you? You say, oh, it's my lazy Italian side, or my lazy Aboriginal side, or my lazy whatever. I mean, do you do that? Well, well, well I never have, uh, but uh, I, I know, and I mean, that, that's, uh, the, the, there are definitely news stories around where people do that. Uh, there's a lot of blogs out there and, and whatnot that, that uh, yeah, are quite easy to find on Tumblr, uh, <laughs> uh, etc. That, that, uh, <laughs> uh, that uh, yeah. That, there are a lot of people that do that, and, and actually, there's a thing on at the moment, uh, a new story where um, I can't remember the guy's first name. His last name is Bolt. Uh, he's a conservative. Uh, yeah, uh, oh. he works for uh, News Corp anyway, and uh, he was uh, uh, in trouble, I suppose you could say. Uh, he was he was found guilty by a. Uh, uh, judge, obviously. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I only read this this afternoon. I've forgotten pretty much all of it. So excuse me. Um, yeah, he was he was found guilty of uh, the uh, breaching the racial discriminatory act. Uh, how, and, how, did he, uh, how did he breach it? Uh, well, there was a there's a show out here called. Um, is it Compass? It's all, oh, I can't remember the name of the show either. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, he was on the show <laughs> and uh, yeah. um, a mind oh, like a God, steel I'm trap. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, nothing gets in, nothing gets out. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> oh Christ, does so somebody else want to talk? Because I'll just sit here and look okay. good. <laughs> No, uh, yeah. Well, any, how about just, how about this? Oh, how about this? No, we see no. on the news. Here's here's a here's a better question. We see on the news that you, that Australia uh, is not welcoming of immigrants, and that you see, of course, you see those stories on the news. Uh, they're rioting yeah. against immigrants. No more immigrants stay out of our country. Do you see a lot of that? And you're in where where, where in Ad Adelaide, where you, where you live in the south. Short answer. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so it's like Texas, basically. What was that? It's like Texas. It's like Texas. Texas. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, <laughs> the only so thing we haven't got here is the death penalty. Uh, but, uh, you know, so, but uh, it's a... Uh, yet. I, I, I'm a self, actually, if you look at it that way, I am a self-hating Australian no. uh, to a certain extent okay. because uh, it just... Oh, there, there's... Uh, a certain boganism that, that goes on, uh, and that's because I, I don't know whether it's more. There's more people that are like this now, or maybe it's just that they're louder. But uh, there, there are just a lot of uh, uh, racist bogan twats. 
I've I've and, heard this uh, word I've heard this word bogan before, but could you refresh my memory? You don't know what a bogan is? Bo uh, it's, bogan not a is it's not a common American expression at all. I've heard it before. Black. No. <laughs> well, well, uh, maybe we should ask Kiko because he's got, he's he uh, he said he wasn't aware uh, the last time this subject came up that there were still bogans in Australia, but uh, well, bogan is like a red is it a redneck? That's a redneck, right? Pa well, basically, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I've heard the expression before, but it's not. Um, Americans would never understand what a bogan was. Yeah, bogans are my 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 my, my thinking. I guess they're kind of precursors to. Well, I'll say, <laughs> they, they, they don't wear makeup. They never wore makeup, but they're kind of precursors to goths. Like, oh, you know, they they later evolved. Yeah. They, sort of, they are, for me, they're always kind of into kind of. Um, Metal and kind of wearing black clothes and kind of uh, you know lower lowering socioeconomic strata. So, Australian chavs. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. A specific subcategory of people who listen too much to the Cure and trash <laughs> <laughs> metal and, and, and kind of hate everything and, and, and you know convert Holden and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a special, it's a special culture, definitely. That that is not like a redneck in America. No, it's not a redneck. It's not a, although I, I love the quote of Robin Williams saying how that Australia was basically like a big country full of uh, is, is like a big country full of like redneck English people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's quite accurate. I thought it was a good description. Have a rather rather. <laughs> you know, I think. Yeah. I think you guys remember that quote better than Americans. I don't think any American well, could ever tell you what Robin was... Williams thinks of, of, of Australia. We yeah, have the, no very, idea. the very, the very academic Prime Minister of Australia got very offended by it, but I think most Australians thought it was quite a good quip. It's one of the things that kind of he alienated and stuff. But I, 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 it's funny. Well, so, so basically, whenever I do anything um, obnoxious or, 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 or loud or inappropriate, I, I immediately blame my half Australian side. So I, I knew I, I it. I was, I was going to wait to ask you that question. It's very convenient. Oh, there's a great, there's a great comment by uh, Colitification there. Can you see it about about what would happen to that girl when she went to if she went to Japan? What would happen to her? Oh, well, to her, to her ideas. Yeah. Of trans ethnicity or whatever she's called. So what, uh, what would what would happen? Read the uh, she'd realise three seconds into getting getting into the country that she wasn't trans ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 let's be clear as well. So ethnicity. I mean, ethnicity is what is ethnicity? Does it encompass culture? I th I, I distinguish ethnicity from culture actually. You know, you mm. can be ethnically anything. That's just your your DNA makeup, which frankly is mm. kind of a whole misnomer if you if you really think mm. about it. Yeah. For, it's five it's American. Yeah. yeah, but but culture is you know, and, and and for me, one thing I guess if you come to Japan that really hits home, is that it really is, and for humans, all the stuff we we mistake race and and, and all these other distractions, which are really the things that we visually try to superimpose culture preconceptions about, but it's really culture, isn't it? And this is why, yes. um, you know, um, Simon in Belgium and Dean in, in, in Australia and, in, in, and I, you know, we kind of share common culture even though we share very different geographies and maybe even ethnic backgrounds, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of like, like it, it comes down in the way, in the end of the day, to culture and that's what people who I think, this whole idea, that reading the part of it that um, I already have a Japanese soul or I've read a blog before by in a kind of a similar vein many years ago by someone talking about how they just from the well yeah they feel like because they have Japanese blood that somehow Japan's always kind of going to be their, their home and they feel good mm. knowing they can go there and fit in any time that America doesn't work out for them but that's not how it works you know I'm, I mean it, there's a term for uh, Japanese Americans. What, what's the term? The ones that, that go back, or well, the ones yeah, that go back are Kikokushijo, and the ones who stay in America are Nikkei. Nikkei. Yeah. And uh, and there's a different generations as well. There's, there's yeah, like Ise, the, Nise, Sanse, Yonse, Gose. because uh, I, I read a book about one who who went back and was like, uh, you know, culture shocked. Yeah, uh, you know, his his parents were from there, and he, and he went thinking he would uh, it would all be sort of fall into place. Just didn't yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. well, and, I, and I've seen people I, I've seen and I've heard of people actually having ner complete, complete nervous and psychological breakdowns in Japan from you know the expectation, and that's probably my biggest fear when I read something like this that's so detached. But there again, I mean, the, I guess the great thing about the otaku culture 
as such. And the way that it's kind of developed in Japan is that it practically encourages people to be shut-ins. And I guess you could come here and you could buy a small apartment, provided you had some sort of a job to, to, to pay the bills. You could live in a world of any man, a little, you know, 20 square meter apartment, and lots of people sustain lives like that. I mean, yeah. it could even theoretically be achievable. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, I think the majority of people would be in for a pretty rude shock. Mm. They, it's certainly the idea that, um, but I don't know. So, so do none of you ever get this? I get this thing. I've done family trees. I'm from New Zealand, which of course has. Well, frankly, even where the indigenous people can all trace back to the canoe that they arrived in New Zealand on, you know, through if they, if they know their family trees, you know, they don't, it only goes back a thousand years. So, and, and of course, everyone else has only been in for a hundred years. So we're only two or three generations deep in New Zealand. And I guess this course is like whenever I watch the Soccer World Cup, for example, if I see any country that I have traceable lineage to, I generally support them because generally New Zealand doesn't get in. So I randomly support Romania and Scotland and England. I, I try not to support England, I guess. But... You know, <laughs> I actually the only sport I, I will support Australia for soccer only because New Zealand just doesn't show up most of the time. But I don't know. I mean, do, do, do any of you guys feel? I mean, do any of you guys ever feel? Oh, the old country, or yeah, all these Americans who or, think that they're Irish. What's with let, that? Let me ask you. Yeah, who who is interested in your? Are you interested in your ancestors? Does, does it matter? I am. I mean, you uh, I mean, obviously you are. But what about other guys? What about mm. Dean and Robert and things? Uh, Robert. Yeah. Yeah, Robert Cohen. Not half American. Yeah, I can, I can, well, not exactly. Um, Don't insult like me. My, my mother is American, yes. Mm -hmm. But oh, I'm, I, I, but she's part Cherokee, and so I'm little Cherokee, part German, yeah. English, Irish. So I'm kind of, I'm sort of a mix of things, and I don't feel affinity for any one particular mm -hmm. um, culture. Don't you respect your ancestors? Oh, I respect them. However, Toronto is a city of many cultures, and I like living here. I mean, okay, so and then, so so in my own case, and having done the family tree thing myself, it is there is a thing about finding a a cool or exotic part of your own family tree that you you think, oh, and, and then when you mentioned Cherokee just now, I mean that is something I think is objectively kind of cool, right? I mean, does that not give you an interest in Cherokee, learning about Cherokee? It's, culture, it's cool, yeah, and connecting with it. Um. Yeah, to a point. When I lived in the states, yeah, I did. You know, we did study um, mm. Cherokee and what happened to them and the Wild West and all of that. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I. Uh, that's actually the one part that's usually forefront in any yeah. discussion on what am I? Because some people come up to me, "Are you Euro European?" Well, a little bit, yeah. Are you Italian? Sure, no, sure. not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, how many people get extra girls from saying they're part Welsh, honestly? But, you know, no, it's never worked, it's never it's worked, worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> never. It's cool. Welsh something, you know, well, something, something which sets you apart from the crowd is something cool. And adding to that, I mean, of course, it's something which I think, it's not Cherokee culture, something that people probably in Canada and America feel like they probably should know more about and they don't. I don't know. I mean, that strikes me as being kind of cool. I mean, and... and <laughs> and, and there are a lot of people. Not, and, in, and in fact, one thing, uh, from what I understand, this is true of New Zealand as well. New Zealand recognizes you can register as a as a Maori voter, and as a Maori voter, you have a kind of a higher voting. Your vote counts for more. If you are no. if you are one thirty sixth Maori or more, so I think it goes back. <laughs> what really? <laughs> How did they oh. check? That's good. That's no. There's a one thirty second or something, but it basically means if you've got like a great, great if you've got a single great great grandfather or grandmother of Maori origin that you can prove, you can register on the Maori roll and you basically get like a double vote. Hmm. Um, oh, just, to, just to interrupt you there, sorry, the flow a bit. Jake's here and uh, he says, don't support England in the World Cup, but you support Romania, you muffin. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always more interesting supporting some way that makes you feel a bit more exotic, honestly, but you know, I mean, mm. uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, honestly, and, and plus, I, I, I mean, I, we, yeah, it's a bit depressing being an English soccer fan. I think I, I, I'm familiar with that. But um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of um, so. Of course, English people always complain when they play against a New Zealand Maori team because it's full of redheads and blondes. But the same time, we're one thirty six Maori, so you're all right. <laughs> yeah, but but at the same time, I, and I I understand this as well. Finding out that little bit of exotic part of you. I mean, a lot of those. 
like for example, you think about Israel, or you think that you know they rely on people kind of having a romanticized view to some extent of their of their ethnic heritage, right? And there's a lot of people that genuinely actually has a meaning, that actually make meaningful by being engaged in it, even if it's not what they're born or raised with. I mean, it happens for a lot of people. I mean, obviously, Victor doesn't romanticize his Peruvian. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I don't understand your desire to care. To I, I don't give a shit about my ancestors. It has nothing to do with who I am today at all. Mm. I mean, I think it's interesting. It's slightly interesting. Okay, I'm part Arabic. Oh, that's interesting. My, my brother's like, yeah, we're probably a little bit black. That's fine. <laughs> you know, I don't give a shit. That doesn't mean anything to me at all. I, you know, it's it's my, my father. Okay, my father matters to me. Yeah. But beyond that, no. I don't. They, they did nothing. They have not affected me in my life, or changed, or affected the way I, I think, or mm. educated me, or affected. No, they have nothing to do with me. I'm not that at all. And all, and all, and the pride, and the pride people take in their nationalities. I don't get that at all. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to uh, be American, but I'm not really proud to be American. But I don't mm. want to be. I don't want to be Japanese. I'm not going to go to the efforts of changing it unless there's a good financial. <laughs> Uh, incentive for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, so, I, mean, I can't see any practical, pra I shouldn't say financial, practical reason. Yeah. They say, Victor, we're going to take away your house. You know, I have a house here. I bought a house. They say, Victor, we're going to take away your house unless you become Japanese. And I said, oh, well, okay. okay. I guess I'll become Japanese, maybe. You know? hmm. I'm going I'm to live here, but I, I don't really feel... Um, but I mean, that's just, I don't, I don't understand it, but I, I don't... Do you, I think feel, that's why do you I, feel international? Do you feel you could live anywhere? Like yeah, I, I feel I can feel anywhere, but I don't think that means international. I just think I can I can live anywhere. So you're you're not in the jet set then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I've been to like I've been to tons of countries, you know, mm. but um and I and I enjoyed them all. I don't feel like I'm stuck in. Anywhere. I'm not a, I'm not a Japanophile. Mm. I mean, you, <laughs> I mean, everyone, you might be surprised to hear that, but I'm not a Japanophile. Who's an apologist? Oh yes, mm -hmm. I'm a Japan <laughs> hater. Apparently, Japan times. I'm either I'm I'm, I'm equally He's a Japan both. hater and a Japan yeah. No, but I I don't understand why it's like uh, Hiko Simon cares about why why would you even look at the roots? I mean, it just seems unless you're bored, you have some time. You know. Well, it was that, but, but. <laughs> no, I mean I I just don't sympathize with that. Okay, well, so for example, I've got a but but and, and just a challenge. I have friends who have been adopted, and it's one thing about for adopted people as well how they obviously. It's a, I think, well, the experience is obviously different for every for everybody. But one thing a lot of people become mm. very militant about is that you know my real parents, the parents who loved me and looked after me, and my biological parents. You know, I I, I kind of when they grow up and kind of come to terms. And uh, and New Zealand and Australia, when you become an adult, you can find them. And sometimes there's reasons to do that. If you're gonna have kids mm. yourself, you want to know about genetic mm -hmm. risk and so on. Oh yeah, of course. No, that's, what, practical. that's a practical reason. Yeah. But one thing for a lot of my friends who have been through that, including actually I've got a stepbrother um, or a half-brother who himself was put up for adoption that I didn't know about till I was uh, about 17 years old, and I met him. And it is kind of funny. No matter how much we all like to believe in nurture versus nature and, you know, it's only our father, our parents who shape us or whatever, mm -hmm. it is interesting to see how people, how you can be confronted with geneticism at the same time. You know, like when you... And this is a lot of my adopted friends who have gotten to meet their biological parents who are often kind of dumbfounded by... All the things they find out they have in common with these biological parents that they never yeah, knew, yeah, 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 which yeah. says that there is. It's not a zero. So it's not a zero factor, you know. Uh, the family tree. You no, know, no, you're uh, right. You're right about that. But it's there's no intention behind it. Of course like not. No. So. But I think it's yeah. interesting to try to understand and to think that I mean to think that you know and uh, that memory is something that's not fully understood. And, uh, and I think that there was some experiment last year. Where they managed to chop off like a part, they managed to find an animal that they could chop a part off of it, and and <laughs> prove that memory could be stored outside of the brain, you know, like through muscles oh, or through hands or something. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think there's something about that. Maybe maybe our cells and everything are programmed with our memories. And if you think well, of it, of course that must yeah. exist. I mean, how do birds know how to build nests? Right, they just, right. They just know. I mean, beavers yeah. know how to build dams. So. So I don't know. I mean, the, I, I am a great believer, of course, that this well, this girl is going to be in for a huge shock when she comes and discovers what real Japanese culture is about. I don't think that the ethnic genetics are going to be enough to, to help her cope with the first uh, few culture shocks. But at the same time, I think to understand your kind of family tree is kind of fun in the sense of at least understanding the story. There is a story, an experience of origins, and you see generations kind of repeating some behaviors sometimes, and it's kind of interesting. I mean, I, I didn't read the whole the whole blog. Oh, uh, you're lucky uh, all right, but I mean, is she is she part genetically Japanese or is she not remotely Japanese at all? 
Well, she seemed to be Caucasian. She, she, she seemed to forget that most Americans or like that there's a lot of people, Americans who are not Caucasian. She was talking yeah. about Americans in terms of them being Caucasian and, and, and saying how somehow she stood out uh, in America by having tan skin, which I don't yeah. think is actually that correct. <laughs> <laughs> Um, someone maybe uh, she's, she's not, she's not from LA then. No. <laughs> I don't know what, what what I would give to have a tan. So you know, no. But she was uh, so she was and she was actually obsessing, you know, in a self-hating manner about about the, her skin color, which is like honestly, I love to have Japanese skin. I think Japanese have like the most awesome skin color because they can be like as brown or white as they want to be. You know, they, 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 well, my friends, we go to the beach. I have to cover myself head to toe in liters of sun cream. <laughs> <laughs> To even go out in the sun for 15 minutes, and these yeah. guys can do anything they like. <laughs> I've always said brown is beautiful. It is. Yeah. It is. I'm jealous. No <laughs> I'm a self hating white person, of course. Oh, well, well, you 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 will see you will see how brown or, or or the lack of lack of brown that we are when we do our all all, all nude live hangout with with uh, with Kurt later this year. So <laughs> well, all, all yeah, nude. Oh, oh, he'll do it because he's in California now. So yeah, 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 he'll do it. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It was almost there once. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think the thing about Kurt is that you know he's 100% deadly serious, and that you wouldn't. Yes. You'd actually have to consider that there's no joke involved. Well, uh, I, 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 I went commando on the show for him once. I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. I did. Yeah. I just had to watch that zip. That was all. Yeah. So actually, so I gotta, so sorry, to the, bring this back together a little bit. So, so you guys have been doing the show, your show, the, the, oh, yeah, the three the old for like a year now, and you've just had your first anniversary. Yeah, congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you. And, and how much longer are you planning on, uh, basically until you, you all die? How, uh, yeah, uh, on, on, on stage or in real life, yes. Um, probably, <laughs> yes. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a Saturday afternoon therapy, so... Um, so, so Japan yeah. time, it always seems to be on... 76 the videos, that's over a, that must be over a year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a hangout every week without fail, every Saturday. Yeah. Although yeah. we yeah. usually fail, but that's another story yeah, I mean, that's entirely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so what time, do you know what time you're on Japan time? I mean, you always seem to be on like about 9 o'clock or something. Um, we, yeah, right now we're on at 10. 10, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, everyone that seems to work out better for the or? teachers. 10 p.m. GST. Yeah. Yeah, they're always on at night, Saturday night. They're like, if you, yeah. if you, I mean, honestly, for I know that Tokyo and Japan has a lot of Saturday night attractions, but I don't think you really know all all, all the things to do on Saturday night until you've seen the three old dudes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as I frequently do. Yeah, we well, used to be on at nine at nine p.m. But then, but then, a lot of our viewers were actually sort of J vloggers who who taught until about nine o'clock, so they never got to to watch us. So uh, we shifted it to ten p.m. Yeah, so that yeah, they could yeah. go home after work and sit down. And, uh, <laughs> and, and and it makes sense because you don't want to be the one showing up at the club at nine o'clock. You know, you 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 know, you want to be the ten o'clock. Big. I think that's what yeah, we, 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 we want to be the after party. Big, so big is a, big means interest on a loan that you take out. By the way, <laughs> I didn't catch any of that. You <laughs> said not a you said word, not a single. You said word. you said ten o'clock big. Did you say big? Gig. I think I oh, might have said gig. Gig. Okay. Gig. gig. Gig is correct. I think you said big. But not, big. You, 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 <laughs> I don't, you don't I don't know, have a big. You don't know your mafia lingo. Okay. I do not have right. a big. Hey, do you three? Uh, <laughs> let's let's let them. Do you, do you three must have some. Well, maybe maybe not. But do you have any questions for us? Yeah, well, how long is this a job interview? Can we go home now? Did <laughs> <laughs> I get the job? <laughs> yeah, you guys have yes, been you, on what two and a half years? Welcome back. Like yeah, yeah, how welcome long back have we been on? Quite, yeah, quite a while, right? I don't even know when our anniversary is. It feels like forever. <laughs> what is our? Yeah, what, honestly, my wife. If yeah. I told my wife it's our anniversary, honestly, she'd probably <laughs> divorce <laughs> her. She'd just completely lose her shit. When was the first one? Sorry, I completely missed all of that because um, my sound fritzed out. I saw some laughing going on, but that was it. <laughs> it was no one, oh, no one, no one, no one was laughing at your penis. Just remember, no one was laughing oh, at your penis. Oh, uh, uh, even, even though it's a micro penis. <laughs> the micro penis. <laughs> again, again with the micro penis. I don't, uh. <laughs> well, Ed, that's your own fault. You had a choice. <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no going back now. 
Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> when was the last uh, one? I don't know. Last one, the last two and a half of Yelgis. Yeah. Yeah. When, when was the first one? I don't know when the first one was. First of, the first last one, one yeah. is now. The first one is, um, yeah, I think we've been doing this since about 2010, 2009. Wow. 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 Really? Wow. God, we're, we're quite young then. Yeah. We've got a way to you, go yet. Yeah? you got to give it a chat. We're the, I think we're the only people who've lasted this long. Yeah, we just have nothing else to do. Honestly, this is all, all that we have. <laughs> um, um, do, 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 you, do you have T-shirts? Do you have Do you have merchandise? We have um, We have We have merchant. Oh, really? that's what uh -huh, you need to get you into. Need you need merchandise. How many T-shirts have you sold? Oh, uh, ooh, about ten. <laughs> yeah, and I bought all of them. <laughs> Comical Rainer has one. some mugs. <laughs> Okay, we've been on. I found episode four. Episode four was in July in two, 2011. So it must have been oh, early. Sorry. It must have been June. I'm getting old. I totally, I totally got that wrong by two years, didn't I? Okay, so it's June 2011. Wow, actually, yeah. Robert knows how long we've been going better than I do. <laughs> so good, cool. Well, you're a bigger, you're a bigger fan of me than I, I, I am. And I didn't think I, anyone I didn't, was a bigger fan of me than me. I, I don't often get to watch live because I, I work Monday to Friday. Me. And yeah, you come on at like nine thirty in the morning for me. With a job. Okay, yes. But I'm a uh, sometimes I do. Responsible person. Wait, you let the men talk. <laughs> if I'm on vacation, if I'm on a staycation, which I frequently am lately. Staycation. Yeah, I stay at home on vacation. Ah, um, very nice. Then I can watch live, and I do. Awesome. Mm. Thank you, sir. The uncomfortable silence that happens every yeah, seven minutes. I have a statement. <laughs> <eight minutes, laughs> it's a matter of Every time. seven minutes, actually. Should and one interesting point, uh, Sarah, who you met on the first anniversary show, my girlfriend, mm -hmm. is also 1 16th Cherokee, like I am. Wow. wow. Very similar backgrounds. So you could, theoretically, in the future, be increasing your, Cher your Cherokee. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, yeah. That's another word for it, yeah. I'll be working on that. That sounded really evening. dirty for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, that's well, that, could, that, could, that could be the two and a half yards term of the week. Increase your Cherokee. There we go. Increase your Cherokee together. <laughs> mm -hmm. Congratulations on that. Yes. Yeah, thanks. She's coming here Friday evening, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That is awesome. Yeah, so I mean, it's it, it, it's <laughs> great to sit here and just be a tired old Oyaji with other <laughs> like-minded people. <laughs> oh, it's great to be invited on your show. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm very yeah, yeah, thanks for it. Yeah. Uh, fi final, just the roundup question. Uh, I'd like you to make a declaration about the qu crisis in Crimea. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, hope they like the bo I hope they like borscht. <laughs> I hope they like borscht. I'm sure, I'm sure whatever, whatever the solution is, it will involve borscht. <laughs> hmm. Is it really uh, a crisis? Or is that what we're led to believe? Well, that's right. I don't get. I don't get it. How does Crimea get to be? How is Crimea something that we have to like uh, condemn? But yet we we totally did that same thing with Kosovo and with Slovenia and with all these other countries, and it was like a great thing. I'm 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 kind of like I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. And where I just is don't point? understand personally. I don't understand why. Um, why uh, America feels the need to continually shove their nose in every other country's business. I don't, I, you know, I, <laughs> in, in a way. Uh, I'm sorry, that sounds I like don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Of course, they're, 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 they're hi hyper-trans-ethnic, and, they're, and they're, 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 oh, they feel that they're, they're, Rus they're Russian. <laughs> they have an interest. <laughs> well, now I understand. Thank you, hey, Simon. Hey, well, I mean... <laughs> I, I, I know that my great-grandfather sent a postcard to a cousin in Crimea who apparently lived there that I haven't been able to trace, but I have visited Romania. Um, and well, that's why you support the football team. Oh, right. Well, that, that's, that's a nominal thing. I mean, it was only because it was the only interesting place in the whole tree that I kind of went there. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so I don't no, for know. Vampire, I, vampires come from there, don't they? Yeah. So, yeah, Romania. <laughs> Romania. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm basically like I, I, I as a Crimean myself, and I feel that I am a transethnic Crimean. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm sorry, shit is shit is not cool, Vladimir. Get, <laughs> don't go there. Just don't go there, please. 
But he's already gone there. And it was Russian before, so I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I guess we're not going to fix that problem. No. No, I think it's pump. that ship has sailed. I know. There's really, yeah, there's, I mean, we can all have opinions opinions about this, but nothing's going to change. No. Whatever we say uh, or do on, on two and a half yards or three old dudes, President, uh, President, <laughs> President Putin is still going to take Crimea. Or, or in all of... In all of uh, Vladimir, America, I yeah. said stop that. I said stop that. I'm giving you, I'm giving, I'm calling you out right now. Put that country back. Put it back. <laughs> yes. Drop Look, that cookie. There will be. The there will the be. Moral, the moral You're going to ruin your appetite. Rise up. <laughs> there will be no borscht unless you put Crimea back. We found it. You're ruining your appetite. Yes. We'll see if that works. If that doesn't work, then I think we can conclude that your theory is correct on the impact of this show. <laughs> the first story I just show, by the way, was yeah, May twenty fifth, twenty eleven. So three years ago. Wow. wow so that was wow. like two months after the after the big. Kahuha. Oh, you mm. you're right. Really? Wow. I think this was your idea, wasn't it? Was it was it yeah, my idea? It was my idea. It was it was pretty much my idea. I I, I totally ripped off the show from the um from those guys. Who? Um Molly? No, not Molly. He ripped it off from us. No, the um those guys, the two the Oh two no you didn't, did you? Well, I kind of thought that was really? a good way of doing a format. Like, we, we were always having great phone conversations. I was, I was saying we should do this as a video. And oh, that's right. We, were, we would talk phone. on the phone, and then, then, then we said we should do it. Yeah, so. It was uh, bad communication. Bad communication, those guys. So yeah. I, are, they, I, are they still doing their show? Yeah, they are. So I watch them Sunday night. Well, Sunday yeah. night, my time. That's the most mysterious uh, show. <laughs> well, in, that, uh, it's a, in that it's a good show, but for some reason they don't get a big audience. Yeah, I, I was sure that I thought that oh, a great format like that professional put together. <laughs> and I was like, but yeah, it's, it's kind of the world. The world. The world. No, is not they're fair. actually they're much better than you, and they're much better. Yes, than they're us. very polished. No, they're yeah. they're better than us too, but they don't. For some reason, they don't attract a big I audience. And I don't. I can't understand it. Um, First lesson in life, kids: life is not fair. <laughs> yeah, Hiroki was saying that because they have other projects that are bigger than bad communication. That's just their labor of love. That's what he was saying last week. Yeah. Mm. But that's what bad communi communication is for them. Yeah, the labor I, of love. I I will not uh I can't talk about this, but they do have a lot of they've got they've got a hands in a lot of uh what's it called? A lot pots. of pots. A lot of pots. Their hands their is that the is it that is that the expression? They've got their hands in a lot of pots? Um yes. So I'm sure they do, they would rather I not divulge their secrets, but they're they are very active in the internet. I'm, world. And I tell you what, I'm sure those guys have secrets like we don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. It's always the quiet ones, you know. It's always the quiet. Yes. You find out the news finds out they did a raid on some pig farm, and you know it's always the guys you just never expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it to. Was, it was bad communication. <laughs> so I was pretty much just thinking out loud just now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. They're they're, they're, they're a kick-ass uh, team. They are indeed. No, they they inspired us. So they uh, they're one certainly one of the inspirations, and they deserve. Uh, I always give them credit for that. Yes. Even even though, you know, well, we we I mean they don't have they don't have hats like ours. Yes. But they're pretty good. Yeah. Bad communication. You check them out. But more importantly, tonight, please check out. Please uh, three old three old dudes, and your channel name is actually called Three Old Dudes, isn't it? They have a channel. Yes, it is. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's a step uh, we never took. We never made a two and a half Yoshi's channel. We were like... Which we're I constantly know. going backwards and forwards between your two channels. Yeah, yeah. We, we started doing that, and then, and then it got confusing, so we just it created the channel. It well, does, three yeah. is really confusing. Two is easy. You know, once you yeah. get to three on the internet, it's like, oh, my God. I got a question. So this is, this is one for the comments. Should, should Victor and I do what these guys do? Should we have a two and a half Yoshi's channel? Or do you like doing the, the jumping back and forth? I like the jumping back and, and forth. And should we pay we for... To, uh, podcast site. Should we pay for it? Yes, right. Because I, we've always, I've always like balked at having to pay money for, for putting up podcasts when, I'm, when we can put up these videos for free. This is mm. kind of the principle. But there again, a lot of people keep asking, and I do understand that it's not hard to do to do audio versions of these and to make the MP3 available. Should we do? Should we make this into a podcast? So two questions: Should we? Should we? Since we're since we're thinking about that, should we? Uh, would you like the jumping back and forth, or would you like a dedicated channel? And should we uh, pay? 
to uh, to set up a podcast for this. Tell us what you think. We'd really like to know. Yes. Well, Ch Chilling Kansai says pies, whatever that means. Pies. I'm not quite sure what uh, he's referring. I think this has got hand in pies or thumbs in pies. Or ah, something. pots. Ah, yes. Pots. Sorry. Yes. Pots and pies. <laughs> oh yes, I understand. Too many hands in, too many pies. Ah, that's it. Too many hands and too many pies. Oh, okay. See, we solved that problem. Why can't we solve Crimea, honestly? <laughs> <laughs> How hard could it be? Yeah, let's let us what you uh, let us let us know what you think in the comments. God. And go and subscribe to these guys. Go subscribe to the three old dudes every yeah. Saturday night, ten o'clock <laughs> Japan time. I'm on I'm on eleven o'clock on Sunday, so you've pretty much got a full weekly calendar, like yeah. at least for three days. Uh, well, if you if you if you go to Saturday, you you can join join. You can start with Rainer. Rainer's hangout starts at uh, what time does Rainer's hangout start, Robert? On Saturday. Um, that's a good question because Is it Saturday? It hasn't been Sunday? one for a while. <laughs> it was yeah, it was Sunday. Oh, it's Sunday. It starts. Oh, it starts on Sunday. Absolutely, on Japan time Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, and we've got this Saturday. We've got milk jam juice uh, coming oh. on. on show. Oh, you got milk jam juice? Awesome. Yeah. Yep. What? I mean, I mean, I've, I've been bugging her to come back on the show for well, she, weeks now. She what can't join during the week though. She's available on weekends, but not during the uh, week. That's the thing. Yeah. She's well, she, big, well, you, get you her on Sunday. Them. Get her on Sunday as a guest. Do you have yeah. any guests on your show? I have no guests on my show on Sunday. Okay. Uh, it's kind of a thing as well. I like I like actually having a solo show where I just purely interact with comments. I mean that's what we kind of give away when we have more people on. But um, but you know yeah I, I I can see how actually having a weekend show with guests makes a lot of sense. So I don't know I don't know. But uh, this is where if you want a really good interactive show and you guys are interactive and you have lots of people which I don't think we've ever managed to really do very well. So that's another good reason I think they've got a, you've got a really good interactive show. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, I have building, building up, building up. It's good fun, good fun. Uh, and we, we sort of make friends with them as well, which is nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, thanks oh, for coming on tonight. Okay. Any, anything oh. else you'd like to uh, leave our audience with? Or? Hmm. Oh, uh, Rainer says sorry. It's going to be on Saturday this week. So it's uh, Rainer's changed to Saturday, not Sunday. So. Okay. Comical Rainer on Saturday night at about tenish, I suppose. Well, Very probably not, because then, it'll be conf then, then, then she'll be competing against yes. this. <laughs> well, check her channel. Out, Tom as we, as we fade out, we'll, she'll, she'll fade in or one of those. I think she said, yeah, oh, I, I, forgot. I think she's coming, starting an hour after we do. I okay. think. That's right. Yeah. So 10 o'clock Saturday with the three old dudes and uh, 11 p.m. with Comical Reina, the, uh, the birth mother of the uh, three old dudes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> well, I think this is a problem. She, she gave birth to the three old dudes. And, uh, yeah, in a manner of speaking, yes. <laughs> there you go, right? <laughs> Mum. <laughs> That's such a <laughs> nice <laughs> Mum. Very good to try. Awesome. I think I have an Oedipus, Oedipus syndrome. Oedipus. <laughs> Dean, thank you very much. Stay, stay cool down there in Australia. Robert, stay warm there in Canada. Thank you. Thank you. Stay See, well, I have no idea what what temp do they have temperature? Do they have, do you have any it, we have a temperature. Over? We have we have about oh, it's 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 uh, springtime here. Very nice. Oh, Blue nice. sky, sunshine. Stay nice in Belgium. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for having us on thank, the show. Thank, thank you for shaving. Yeah, thanks, chest. guys. Thank you for ch shaving your chest for us. We appreciate that. No, that was a big step. Was a big step. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Kiko, who's on next week? Do you have a guest? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to circle back with Jake Adelstein and see because I think it's we're, 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 he said end of March so I'll I check have finished out. his book and it is it was quite a read it it, it kind of yeah it was good yeah I'm it ready good. it was good I made a lot and, of notes um, got a lot of questions for him and Edo you know it was, was kind of I'd like I'd like to get him on and I, I said maybe next week so I, I, next week we will have a guest on uh, we'll see what we can do but yes look out for that because it will be awesome of course yes. Thank you very much, and okay. on that note... And thank, just... thank you, Moron Army, for, for watching us. <laughs> and uh, Good night. night, and thank you all, all the, all the people with vaginas, especially who joined us this evening. Thank you, thanks to all of them. Thank you. And <laughs> Dean with the micro, whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Good also night. Also known as drop a penis. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> not broadcast. <laughs> <laughs>